Good afternoon. I hope everybody's well today. In our Wednesday morning Bible studies, uh, we've been looking a little bit at the Romans texts that have been coming up for the last uh, few weeks. And Paul is often hard to um, read and to talk about because um, his writing is so so dense and so complex. But the last few weeks we've heard um, readings that talk about life in the spirit and living in the spirit. And I found a poem on uh, unfoldinglight.net uh, that um, that I think helps us think about some of these lessons and maybe gives us some encouragement during uh, this time of such ambiguity in our world. So I'd like to read this poem. Um, it's based on Romans 8, 1 to 11, and written by Steve Garnas Holmes. In the grace of Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation. Period. The Spirit's life in you is the only law. You are set free from the death sentence of having to be good enough. Instead of requiring us to be good enough, God just accepts us. Jesus shows us our sinfulness, lives inside it, occupies our own condemnation, and is accepted. So we live in the Spirit, in harmony with God, not in the flesh as if we were soloists, under the illusion that we are separate beings contained in our bodies defined by our egos. When we see ourselves as separate ego-bound entities, we live out of self-centeredness. But when we are conscious of our unity with God, we let God's spirit live in us. To focus on our individual physical self is death. We cut ourselves off from God who is life. But opening ourselves to our unity with God gives us life and peace. The heart that is focused on the self can't live in harmony with God. But you are not an individual self. You are part of God. The infinite dwells in you. In the spirit, we belong to Christ. We're part of Christ. So you're as good as dead because of your ego's insistence on living as a separate thing. But your whole true person is truly alive anyway because the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is in you. The one who raised Jesus from the dead raises you too by living in you. Cool, huh? Indeed, I think sometimes we get too caught up in trying to be good enough, um, trying to follow all the rules instead of just acknowledging that the Holy Spirit lives within us and we can live with that joy and that abundance and that peace. So I wish you peace this day and uh, hope that um, your day has gone well uh, and hope that you find some words of encouragement uh, in that poem from unfoldinglight.net. Thank you and have a great day.